something funny with fruit, like a uh, ladybug with the strawberries, things like that. Dark chocolate is another good option, but at the end of the day, it's up to the grown-ups to monitor what happens with all of that trick-or-treat booty. You know, the parents need to decide how much candy the kids can have. In the East Bay, Matt Bigler, KCBS. It's called Fast Furniture. It's cheap, not built to last, and Americans are throwing out about 10 gives me 12 million tons of it every year. We get the story from KCBS's Liz St. John. Americans bought lots of cheaply made chairs, desks, and patio furniture during the pandemic. Some of it built to last only about five years. After that, it'll likely end up in landfills. Nothing like that sturdy stuff your grandparents had. Before World War II industrialization especially, we had furniture items that were really built to last. They were built with more natural materials and they were built with durability and, and really versatile functionality in mind. Ashley Piper is a sustainability expert. She says some furniture makers are trying to use greener technology. I think IKEA has gone above and beyond when compared to other furniture manufacturers try to make commitments that are more advanced to try to be lower waste in their packaging, have more durable and reusable materials. Individuals also need to do their part. She says think secondhand first when buying furniture. With St. John, KCBS. Police in Pacific Grove say a surfer had an encounter with a shark late today. The surfer was off Otter Point at about quarter past five when they encountered a shark about 100 yards from shore. The shark grazed and bumped the board, throwing the surfer off. The surfer got back on and paddled to shore uninjured. The board is being tested to potentially determine the shark's species. Signs will be posted to notify the area of the shark encounter. Access to the coast will remain open as per California State Park protocol. We go now to the KCBS Money Desk and Larry Kosky. President Biden says he'll seek to impose higher taxes on oil companies that post windfall profits without reinvesting in production. He says he'll work with Congress to look at available options. Such taxes are unlikely to pass. Inflation is eating away at small business incomes, leaving many unable to pay the rent. Data from Alignable shows 37% of small businesses failed to pay the rent in full this month. That's seven percentage points above last month. Representatives from three dozen nations, the EU, and private companies are meeting in Washington looking for ways to stop the rise of ransomware. U.S. officials say the number and sophistication of attacks are outpacing our ability to stop them. Modest losses on Wall Street trim the gains posted in an otherwise solid month. Dow Industrial dropped 129, the S&P 500 slumped 29, the Nasdaq tumbled 114. Larry Kosky, Bloomberg Business for KCBS. Do you have heart failure and often hear? Those stomach issues ruined your birthday. You're too tired to play catch, Grandpa. Sweetie, you haven't touched your tool since the carpal tunnel syndrome diagnosis. If these seemingly unrelated symptoms sound familiar, talk to your cardiologist. Ask about transthyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy, or ATTRCM, a rare and underdiagnosed disease that gets worse over time. Learn more at connecttoyourheart.com. That's connecttoyourheart.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. Would you like to double your retirement income without saving more money for retirement? You heard that right. It may be possible to get almost double the retirement income compared to 401ks and mutual funds with the same amount of money saved. Hi, I'm Pete Alexander, best-selling author from right here in the greater San Francisco Bay Area. And I want to tell you about a new Hollywood documentary called The Baby Boomer Time. In this film, economists and Nobel Prize-winning PhDs from Wharton, MIT, and Stanford share a strange concept I call the retirement double. It gives you more retirement income with the same dollar saved, and your money is never at risk if the market crashes. That's right. If the market crashes 30%, you lose nothing. Even people who are on track have shifted money to this new strategy because it increases their retirement income or can allow them to stop working years sooner. Call Pete Alexander Wells to get a free copy of the movie and talk to a specialist to see how to get a bigger, better retirement with less money. This is a $30 value, but when you call today, you get it completely free, and I'll even pay your shipping and handling. No credit card required. So call right now. 1-800-239-0101. That's 1-800-239-0101.
circulation by safely removing the plaque in your arteries and restoring function naturally. Guys, let me be clear. Pills will never fix your problem. Our equipment is the latest technology and our medical staff is the best in the industry. And right now, we're offering a free treatment just for coming in. That's right. You can try this treatment at no cost. If you suffer from ED or Peyronie's disease, give West Coast Men's Health a call today. It's not just about better health. It's about a better life. With clinics in San Mateo and Sacramento, call 650-407-1168. That's 650-407-1168. Online at westcoastmenshealth.com. In the waning moments of this Halloween night, we get a traffic report from Carolyn Burns. And it is back to San Francisco we go on the Central Freeway there. Southbound 101, it's after the split to eastbound 80 on the Utah Street overpass, which also means you're continuing on the southbound 101. Two cars involved in this crash. Someone was hurt. Ambulance has already taken that person to the hospital. Right now we're seeing sluggish traffic back up to Bryant Street. And then also on the connector ramp to eastbound 80. As you uh, get just past that sluggish traffic, though, everything looks good as you head to the lower deck of the Bay Bridge. And a new crash now. This is on uh, the Davis Street on-ramp to northbound 880 over there in San Leandro. Apparently the car hit a retaining wall, and we're not sure what lane it's in because it just happened. So your next traffic update is at 1208 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Showers for your Tuesday. The rain should start really any time now. Overnight lows up for to mid 50s. Highs for your Tuesday, upper 50s to low 60s. It's almost Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. Coming up with Elisa Clancy on KCBS. I'm Chris A. Carlo with the new details revealed by court documents about the attack on Paul Pelosi. It's something that I will tell you unnerved me. I'm Jennifer Hodges, a man in this guilt as a threat is made to any state congressman's life. And more than a dozen people injured Halloween night in Chicago in a drive-by shooting. I'm Peter Finch. CBS News covers the world next. When you need to know, KCBS AM, KFRC FM, and HD1, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, and all of these stations. Midnight. Liberty Mutual Insurance. I'm Christopher Cruz in Washington. We've learned more about the attack on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband. The suspect faces attempted murder and elder abuse charges, as well as federal counts of assault for the alleged attack on Nancy Pelosi's 82-year-old husband, Paul. San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins. What we also have learned is that the defendant brought to the location of the Pelosi residence a second hammer, as well as zip ties, rope, and a roll of tape. CBS is Matt Piper. Police in Chicago say there's been a mass shooting in the city. More from WBBM-TV reporter Dana Kosler. I just learned a few minutes ago from a CPD spokesperson. They believe now 14 people may have been shot. All were outside. This is what's happening on Halloween. We are awaiting more details, but we understand at least two children, one very young child, has also been shot. And the Chicago Police Department has just released a list that says 13 victims have been struck by gunfire, five are in serious condition, five in good, two critical, one unknown, a 14th person is in fair condition after being injured while trying to get away from the scene. We're now a week away from Election Day, but millions of Americans have already voted, says CBS's Natalie Brand. More than 21 million Americans have already voted, according to the U.S. Elections Project. I was in there to three minutes. Quick, in and out. I was in there less than two minutes. Very easy, very simple, uh, in and out. Turnout remains at a record pace for midterms in Georgia, home to one of the most competitive Senate races this election season. The Saudi-owned oil company Saudi Aramco has posted a 39% increase in third quarter profits. The company said its net profit jump to of $42.4 billion was primarily driven by higher crude oil prices and volumes. A man's been arrested in the killing of two teenage girls in Delphi, Indiana, almost six years ago. CBS's Nora O'Donnell has that. Six-year-old Richard Allen was arrested Friday after police made a big break in a cold case. Allen worked at a CBS pharmacy in the town, allegedly developing photos for the families of the girls for free. The grandparents of one victim, 14-year-old Liberty German, says they always felt the killer was close by. In plain sight. The State Department.